Hello and gentlemen, man, I'm Richard the Geek of Me video! Yay! Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, Geek has finally released the long anticipated summer seasonal nutshell video! Yay! Oh my god, man. I've been waiting for this content every season, man. And of course, you had to wait a month to release this because you can say not all animes were released until like the 31st of July. You know, Jaha Summer and Makia Records. So, yeah, you can say finally he released the nutshell video and this is the one video that I look forward to, man. And of course, you know, when I was released like four hours ago by the time I recorded this video, I was like, oh shit, I should have reacted to it before I went to sleep. But oh well, here I am reacting to it later on. So yeah, you can say the summer season though. I mean, to be honest though, this summer season has been kind of weak compared to the previous summer season. I mean, and with respect though, I gotta say there are some good shows like Makia Record, Slime, um, Bonitas, I think another one like um, Obayashi Dragon. Yeah, those are some couple of good shows, but the other shows is just a hit and miss for some people. So yeah, you can say this summer season has been kind of like, I mean, it's not lacking, but it's just kind of like wasn't have, have this sort of same hype to it compared to the previous two seasons. Spring has some good shows. Winter, don't even get me started. So yeah, you can say summer season. Let's just see what sort of anime he's going to put into like, you know, the video. I mean, obviously you can tell from the thumbnail, Ilulu is going to be, he's going to talk a lot about, you know, Kobayashi. And of course, there's going to be Jahasama because of the tan girl. And of course, there's also some other isekai shows too. So he's going to talk about, of course, he's an isekai man after all. So let's just check out the video, shall we? So I hope you guys like my new format for my reaction to Giga video now because I have green screen now so might as well go big with the you know the style. So obviously I have the subtitle on for you guys to go along with it and obviously along the way I'll stop by some uh, some part of the videos to like talk about it. So with that said, here we go in 3, 2, 1, play! So no. by Keeps. I know, summer. Summer. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? The cicades, man. The cicades. The school kids are off on their holiday. The good I know, right? I'm having a great fucking time. I hate cicades, by the way. During my time in Japan, I hate cicades. I mean, how can't you? I said in spring that following the winter anime season was like having a boxing match right after Muhammad Ali just stepped out of the ring. I know, right? I know, right? I was going to show up out of nowhere, so what is the store for the summer? Are we going to get Sugar Ray Johnson? Or is Logan Paul going to be entering the ring? I love Logan Paul in the ring, man. Seriously. Is summer going to continue this year's hype train? Or are we just going to get an absolute train wreck? Like, literally. By the way, this is from um, Spirit Chronicles. Like, what the fuck, man? This has to be the most brutal way to be isekai, man. Being hit by a train. Like, bruh. This has to be the most brutal isekai way to be isekai. Well, this is I know, right? <laughs> Alright, Kana. Open wide. Hey, Kobayashi! Ah, yes. Just about two years ago, it feels so good to see Kyoto Animation coming back. I know, right? The first animation. Ah, breath, breath. By the way, love that breath effect. I came here for a wholesome little slice of life, and I opened things up with a. Oh, yo! Holy shit, that animation, man! Too much in these videos, but God. Damn, it's good to have you back, Kyoto Animation. I know, right? Get the season fully started. A quick word from our sponsor. Good evening, mm. Do you know what I care about? My hair. Even with the fact that I was a monk before, that's irrelevant now. <laughs> that's irrelevant. <laughs> Did you know that two out of three... It's true, though. He used to be a monk. ...pattern baldness by the age of 35. And I may not look like it, but I'm one of those guys. Mm. Every single man in my family has gone bold and i knew this so while it might look like i'm the uh, you, you're more like spot bonus to be honest not like bold ball but like spot bonus exception i put in a lot of work behind the scenes to keep my hair the way it is did you see what i did there mm -hmm. so this is a subscription service that focuses on making it easier and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern boldness online a licensed doctor can review all your information online recommend i'm not i don't need it to be honest i'm i'm still young three months i'm still young man offers all the generic versions of the fda approved drugs to keep all the costs down i really didn't do that on purpose <laughs> between four to six months i mean he had to do something to market it i guess now 
Because look, if you're like me and you've known for years that you're going to go bald, then the only thing you can do to combat that is to stop it before it happens. Once the hair's gone, it's gone for good. And that's exactly what Keeps is. And look, I normally try to keep these sponsorships anime related, but I really do wish I had a service like Keeps when I started looking into this years ago. So, if Saitama... <laughs> <isn't> <laughs> of course, Saitama, I had to bring you up, man. I had to bring up Saitama. Off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Giguk for 50% off your first order or just click the link in the description anyway back to the video hey boss have you heard of this oh the this blast okay. the hey, blast man <laughs> Has anyone seen this was like what the what the fuck situation <laughs> man barman says don't worry edward i'll definitely give you a hand yeah i knew it a hand <laughs> boom a hand <laughs> I don't get it, low. I know it's edgy, but it's just weird edgy, to be honest. <laughs> I knew it. I'll taxi. the show that seems to be run entirely on edgy anime logic. Like, you have the usual goody two shoe protagonist who's doing the good thing and breaking this girl because the mean. Oh, by the way, best girl right here, man. Even though she's a lolly. Oh! Oh, yeah, of course. Like five minutes ago, and for some reason, she's completely okay with her brutally murdering like dozens of. More like she sensed the org and going to kill it. She's a cute anime waifu. There is no such thing as a. If you're looking for some mindless violence set in that same fucking fancy world, then yeah, you'll probably enjoy a Kami no Isekai. <laughs> what? A Kami? What? Why? Oh no! Here we go! Here we go! modern anime scene in recent years but thankfully if you're one of the ones who's been a bit tired of that this season we only have one two three four five six seven eight new isekai airing this season eight so, uh, that's a lot though pretty slow season for isekai overall no on season two same with i'm standing on one million lives slime two is continuing and i'll say best show for the season to be honest slime the same feel good wholesome show as it was in season one dude it gets really good actually trust me i know you're gonna get really good Oh, my favorite isekai for the season. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, I mean... Yes. Okay, well, the protagonist is gonna do... Yes. <laughs> Stop taking my job. Lamau. <laughs> I know, right? He explained isekai in the first episode. Five years ago. Are you serious? But Tsukamichi's got a pretty strong attempt at it. Mm -hmm. The guy who's actually the child of some isekai immigrants who's been sent to the world of his parents where he meets a goddess who looks at him with contempt because... He's ugly? Every other isekai hero, he's really ugly. I know, right? What? I mean, if you go... If, if you just look at it, though. And so she sends him to the fancy who looks at him with contempt because compared to every other isekai hero, he's really ugly. What? I mean, he's pretty much like any of the generic isekai characters. Look at the hair, man. Like, bruh. Look at the hair. Like, seriously. And of course, the face. I mean, obviously, his eyes a bit. His eyeballs a bit thinner compared to the other characters. But his hair, though. Like, I mean, yes, you can say it's ugly, but I call him badass for the season, man. What? And so she sends him to the fantasy world with the weakest and most useless power she can think of the ability to understand any language instantly. <laughs> I want to do that from Japanese. <laughs> Bro, I know, right? Oh, by the way, I dropped this anime. I didn't like it. I dropped it. You know, at this point, I'm just waiting for some guy to get transported to a fantasy world and then decide to open up a local fucking... Yeah, Nando's! Next, capitalism. Capitalism, the anime. <laughs> capitalism in another world. How a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. Okay, this one's actually all right. There's no dude. It's basically politics, the anime. Okay. The guy trying to save a fantasy kingdom via the two sexiest words in the world. Politics. Exactly. Politics. Okay, I know that sounds a lot like. And economics. The slime, so it has even less of a hook. But this one goes way more in depth with the technicalities of how he goes about achieving everything. So if you've ever thought, hey, I want to spy some more Fisakai, well, here you go. Yeah, best show of the season, Iran Michi. Comedy of the season, man. Comedy of the season. Yeah. <laughs> oh, love. I know, right? You can relate. Gekka can relate to this guy a lot. Pessimistic children's show presenter who's had enough of life, slowly losing his fucking mind on camera in front of a bunch of. I don't know how he didn't quit his job. Seriously, I know he would beat up the kids so badly. 
What the fuck? <laughs> I'm on the fence about this one. On one hand, this is totally my type of cynical comedy. Put a guy with zero fucks to give in front of some clueless children and boom, easy comedy. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I'm not sure how you I know, it can you stick consistent season, for the rest of the season. Every joke in the first episode hits. But at the very least, we could have a laugh at some guy losing the will to go on because of some children. Mm -hmm. Come on, they're just kids. What's the worst thing they can say? Oh, this one. Oh, shit. That's the East Side. Oh, burn. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. I thought, they're, I thought they're married. Wait, I thought they're married. I mean, they actually got that down, but kids. It's the kids part, I guess. But, oh my god. I love it. Love it, man. You can relate to this big time. I'm not gonna lie, summer season had a lot to live up to. We're coming off the back of two of the best anime seasons in recent memory, but so far, we've kind of just had a lot of this. If oh, ouch. To look out for this season, however, it's Sunny Boy. Um, yeah, more like dialogue heavy the anime. Stand out from the crowd, and right away, you can probably tell. Sunny Boy ain't just your typical anime. You've got a school that's been sent to some kind of pocket dimension. A group of kids are trying to figure out how to... To be honest though, I still find it hard to wrap my head around this series, man. I still find it really hard to wrap my head around this. The whole thing looks like a Satoshi Kon movie with a bit of Yuasa flair. Oh, and every kid's been given a different superpower in this place as well. So it's a mutant in the Isekai. Lord of the Flies type anime original show coming from Shingo Natsume, who if you aren't familiar, directed this. Yes, but there is no this, right? And this. I didn't watch this anime, by the way. And it feels like he's been given total freedom to do whatever he wants, which could mean this could turn out to be a fully realized vision with no compromise. Or an absolute fucking mess. I, it could be a mess, to be honest. I couldn't really get my head around this anime. Shows like Odd Taxi, BV, Megalobox. BV, by the way. Oh, uh, no, don't talk about this show. So I've got high hopes that this could bloom into something great. <laughs> of course, the meme man. Tante mo shinder. Honestly, it was pretty whelming. You've got a terrorist threatening to blow up a plane unless this. Hey, it was hype, okay? It was hype. Origami finally getting a screen time. That's the most important part. As from a single fucking line, she's able to deduce. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, now explain the entire fate. <laughs> what? What did fans do with this? <laughs> yeah. Oh no! I mean, he's testing her, to be honest. I, I like the fact I say goo, though. <laughs> So we get this dope ass fight scene, she wins the By the way, best animation scene, man. Animation in the moment. Go, please give that pizza some fucking cheese, I beg of you. Cool action aside, I think what bothered me the most was just the bland ass dialogue between the detective and the main protagonist. It's like someone saw the character dynamics of Bakemonogatari or Bunny Girl Senpai and went, yeah, we got that at home. It tries so hard to emulate that same kind of chemistry without capturing the same charm. To be honest, I like the chemistry. I really like the chemistry. I don't know why people are hating it. To see if it actually finds its footing and actually gets me to care about what the slap. Around. Yep, knew it. The slap. But we know. Well, I don't get it to be honest. Yeah, Vanitas! My show of the season! I mean, it's good. It's really good, okay? If you were sleeping on this show. Times New Roman. Times New Roman. Dude, it's really good, okay? I watch this anime. It's okay, to be honest. And I mean, who doesn't love a bit of wet Kuroko? I mean, look at this shit. It's so wet in here, the ducks and geese are going to migrate to the Sahara Desert. It's so wet in here, we're about to set off some tsunami warnings. It's so wet in here, I thought... <laughs> I thought Cardi B dropped a fucking... The bow. What the fuck? Hey, Akoto. Basically, the Yuri of the season. Yuri of the season. Yuri of the season, man. Yuri of the season. 
nowadays because without fail they look visually stunning and Aquatope on the white sand is absolutely no exception. This is probably one of the most beautiful looking new shows of the season but then you look at their track record and for every gorgeous masterpiece they create- By, by the way, by the way, Nagino Asukara I just need to say it's a masterpiece. I love Nagino Asukara so much man. Not a lot of people are sleeping on that show. Shirobako is a okay show to be honest. I mean you get to know about anime, how it's made but yeah okay. Make an equally gorgeous glass lip glass lip shit glass lip is shit still some pretty good looking turds out there though i'm sure a lot of people have had that existential realization oh remake our life exactly really what you want to be doing in life that you took the wrong path somewhere and you should have gone a different direction and that's exactly what this anime is about hashiba is a 28 year old guy who wishes he could be working in the creative industry instead of getting a boy i know and then he can redo his life and then he gets to pursue his dream properly this time he has just one thought. I gotta invest in Bitcoin. No! <laughs> Tomorrow, like buying Apple stocks or uninstalling League of Legends. But what? <laughs> what? I mean, you regret, I guess. That's illegal. You know, That's illegal, I know, right? <laughs> illegal to go back in time and change the future. It's actually an interesting concept. If you've ever thought you've wanted to go back in time to redo a major aspect of your life, then you might find something in here. Oh, why? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, man? It's about a guy who gets a girlfriend and gets confessed to by another girl, but doesn't want to reject the other girl. So he unlocks one. Oh yeah! Before I get started, there's a like a um, news of from an interview from the creator of Kanajo Mo Kanajo. He literally said he after watching Prince Tenjo Quintuplets, or just read the manga, he feel bad for the the girl that lost in the you know the harem. That's why he decided to create this series. Where, how do I put this though? All girls win. Something like that. I remember it's on Facebook news, by the way. It's on like anime, uh, anime read and anime news. And literally coming out from his interview, he literally said this, this anime, this pur main purpose is to have all four girls win the harem. So two timing, three timing, four timing exists in the show. Of his and it should not work in real life, but it does. Brain and decides that the best solution to this problem it's just a simply two time. So he asks his girlfriend if he can have another girlfriend, and she goes no, and he goes yes, and she goes no, and he goes yes, and she. Don't goes, take this show seriously, man. She goes yes. Ha ha! No take backs. So they all agree to engage. This in show, show don't take it seriously, man. That, it's just to funny to watch. Over. It's a fun it's show to watch. Absolute mess of a situation. Ah, jumps the fire. <laughs> that absolutely shouldn't work but it works for some reason it does if i know i don't know how but it does through with the harem part there is no best girl because every girl wins yes even the short haired blue one i know right honestly i'm not sure how i feel about that i mean they're clearly setting unrealistic expectations for anime fans showing a guy getting two girlfriends when most weaves can't even get one well, i'm still so single by the way up front and honest everyone is about this and the great thing is you'll only need the same number of brain cells as these guys have collectively to be able to enjoy this show which is three somehow it's so stupid that it can make you forget how fucked the entire situation is that you can just laugh at it that just enjoy the show for what it is don't take the show seriously just enjoy it as a comedy show like seriously, if you even think of taking this seriously, you're you're weird. That's right. Who needs chivalry when you can dabble in some casual polygamy? Don't please don't quote me on that. It's funny, it's turn your brain off fun, and because of this, it's the most awful anime ever made. The character What the hell awful? Okay, sure. No guy in the right mind would ever <laughs> What? What the hell? Stupid dumb dumb. What? Guy. What's going on here? Oh, maybe she's telling Giga not to two time or something. <laughs> hey, Jahasama! I did not hit her. It's not true. Holy shit! Am I seeing this right? Nagatoro, but but Milf. It's it's is basically Devil Part Timer 2.0. Okay. I didn't think we could improve on perfection, but the mad lads did it. Final. I'm mad at anime is starting to realize what we really want. Um, uh, 10 girls. The best tags are getting some representation. We're and girls. The sexy anime girls we truly deserve. Dark skinned, tanned, MILF. Does it get any better than this? No degeneracy here, only culture. Gentlemen, it is time. The revolution has begun. Perfection is. Here, I can now declare, without a shadow of a doubt, 
the best and sexiest girl of 2021 has been she's a lolly and her name is oh my God. she's a lolly hey guys hope you enjoyed that video thank you very much to levados manapla pony star pony dark Alpha Sigma, Jeff, Ivido, The Walto, Pain Patchett, Elephal, Basil, and everyone else, my Patreon, for helping to support me for this month and making this video possible. You know what? I'm kind of glad that the season's a bit slow because I can finally catch up. To I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> uh, he still have a lot to watch. Hits the season, though. In the meantime, I am going to be traveling back to England. Briefly. Yeah, he mentioned this in trash taste. He mentioned this in trash taste. I'm not sure what the video making situation is going to be, but keep your eyes peeled because I gotta figure that out myself. Not going for anywhere too long. Just going to visit friends and family, then fly back here. God, that feels so weird to say. Anyway, that's it from me. No further updates today. I've been Gigguk. And I'll see you all next time. Well, okay, so not bad, I guess, of a, of a video. I mean, obviously, this season is like, you, you, it's, it's, like I said, it's a hit and miss, to be honest. Like, you, if you enjoy some shows, you enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, then just use this time to catch up with some animes that you miss on, you know, your on hold list, I guess. So, yeah, only Milk, Komi-san can save us. I mean, Komi-san's coming out next season anyway, so I'm just hoping the fourth season. I mean, dude, what am I saying? The fourth season sh should be the savior of this year, man. Like, winter and fall season, and of course, a bit of a spring season, is like the best season for this year. I mean, obviously, fall and winter now, from what I can see, is going to be the best season this year, man. So, I mean, obviously, he mentioned some of the animes that, I'm, uh, that I really enjoy. Vanitas, Ko Ko Kobayashi, um, a bit of Tsukihime, and... Well, of course, you can he's, you can say he also mentioned um what Uramichi. Oh yeah, Uramichi, dude. A lot of people are sleeping on Uramichi, man. They more people should, should need to watch Uramichi. It's like one of the best shows, man. Like I best comedy show for this season, man. Trust me, I love Uramichi. Even though the joke can get a bit a bit repetitive, but it's funny, still funny, man. I'm, I mean, I remember seeing Love Life in the video. I, I'm surprised he didn't mention about Love Life. But oh well, I mean, obviously he didn't really catch up with Love Life anyways. So yeah, I mean, I'm a bit sad that he didn't mention Mark Hill Record. I mean, I don't even think he caught up with Season 1 yet. So, well, anyhow, you can say, yep, the Summer's Nutshell video. Not bad, I guess. I'm looking forward to see what can he do with the 4th season. Because the 4th season is going to be really compact with a lot of good anime. So... Yeah, looking forward to it when it comes down next season. But for now, don't expect him to upload anything. I hopefully uh, not until the like, next month because he'll be back in England. I mean, obviously, I don't. I, if I had to take a guess from what he can, what animes he can make a video out of in this video in this summer season, most likely Jahasama. Most likely Jahasama. I, I, I'm just saying it now. I'm pretty sure he's gonna make a video about Jahasama or something like that. So looking forward to more of his video in the future to react to. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. Smash the like button and I'll see you guys 